Hi guys, something a little bit different today. Started a little project. Of course, I can always use your help as we're a little, nice little community. Um, I'm gonna make a ammo box power pack type thing. Um, I did write down all the prices, so I'm gonna hopefully give you as much information as I can so you guys can help me along. So this box here, I bought for Amazon for $11.95 and I'm probably gonna buy a few more because the size is really good for, you know, putting stuff away for storage and stuff and then you can always write down the name of it and stuff. So I'm happy with that. Um, but we're gonna make some electrics here and that's the part I probably could ask for advice on. I think I got it, but uh, let, you know, let me know in the comment section if I could do something better or wrong. But let me give you a quick rundown of everything we're going to use today. All right, so the most expensive thing we're going to use is the battery. So that's a 12 volt, 7 amp hour battery. I got that from a uh, tool station for $23.29. Um, so that's what we're going to use as the base battery. Uh, we also got one of those cheap uh, charges. And I did buy a lot of this stuff from Timu, and I know people don't like Timu, but I haven't had any issues with delivery or anything defective, so I'm gonna keep going with that. So this charger is uh, $16.79, and it comes with a solar panel. So I'm gonna use that to charge the battery up. Uh, I haven't tested that yet, but I hope it works, because um, I just finished the wiring. So this little controller, I also got off uh, Timu, and that was seven sixty nine. So not too bad. These little LEDs as well. I got those were I think like three quid or something like that. So you know, our everything's budget. I mean, even these uh, drill bits I got off uh, Timu, and those. I think we're like four pounds or something like that. I don't know, I'll throw everything on the screen here uh, that I'm gonna use. I mean, even, even you know, something like that. That's gonna be my little inverter. It's a 300 uh, watt one. But um, let's get down to the wiring now and let me know if I did anything wrong. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna clean this all up, but I just had to jumble around wires and stuff just to see what worked. So, on this if you're interested in getting this this also might help you so this cable here which is in the first two holes here that's the positive negative of the uh solar power panel so that goes in first then you got the positive and the negative that goes to the battery which is here so i also put a fuse on that uh and, on, and an on off switch which i'll show you why in a minute so you have it crossed there but uh, that's because one's shorter than the other but so that's hooked up to there. Then they got the outgoing uh, to electrics and the negative there. So you're gonna see a bunch of different connections. You have um, soldering ones here, which um, uh, the middle melts. So it's like a, a shrink tube and then the middle bit melts and it makes a better seal. Then you're gonna see normal shrink tubes. Then you have these uh, one to twos, which I found very useful. Again, those are from Timu. Um, I'll find the price of that and throw it on the screen. <clears throat> Those are recently bought. And then you have LED lights. Now, that's one of the issues I had was the LED lights hooking up to the rocker switch on this. Because I kept seeing different diagrams of how this was set up. And that's the part that confused me. But um, I think I pretty much got it now. So I put a on-off switch on this kind of like a, um, a master switch for everything. So when I turn that on, you'll see 12.5 uh, volts there. So that's working, right? So then over here, I put a on, an off switch for the rest of this. So if that's charging the battery, I didn't want extra juice running this way because um, this lights up as well. So on here, that's the cutoff switch for this. So now this is on, and you can see it's 12.5 on there as well. The USBs are lit up. And then on the rocker switch on this one, I have uh, two bright LEDs. I put blue so they don't blind you or when you use them. And that can go onto the front of the ammo box. So as like a little light switch. 
And then you also have your uh, 12 volt here, which that's where the inverter is gonna go. If I want to power something with a plug. So that's, that's my wiring setup. Let me know what you think. But I wanted to show it to you now, because once I put it in a box, you won't be able to see it too well. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> maybe I um, overcomplicated this a little bit, but let me know in the comments section. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drill some holes for the LEDs and then put this on there. This and this, I'm just going to Velcro to the sides because I'm going to upgrade um, later on and I don't want to have to move holes or have extra holes. Holes for this and holes for this, that's not going to change. So I'm going to do those. So let's get started now. Hi, guys. Yeah, that's me still. Right. Um, That's marble. Good girl. So um, what I'm doing here for the side of the box is... I got one of these, which is super handy. And basically just, you know, found the hole that fit perfectly and it clips into place. So that's the hole I'm using uh, for this. So just made to put some white tape on there so I can put some lines on there. And it's gonna drill these holes out and then feed, feed the LEDs into here. And then start working on the wiring again. So it's gonna use step up drill here this step up bit very handy i'm just gonna trim it up because it's the last one on here so that'll be easy to do that's it get rid of some of that stuff and there, there it is. and that fits Again, Timu. Um, how much I spend on this one? Timu, this was uh, three seventy four, which is incredible, and it works really well. And uh, I'm just gonna cut these ends off before I um start trying to wire it. But uh, yeah, so getting there, getting there. I'll give you quick updates as I go along. What we're going to do is I had these little connectors there you go see so it's uh two into one so I'm going to put the um power into here and then the other side there and that's quick snap so all you got to do is click these up and then down and then that's it so if you're going to redo it later on that's easier to do than soldering everything or using shrink tubes Right, as my memory is awful, what I'm doing is I'm unclipping these two, taking the uh, connector, um, the USB off to use the stencil, this as a stencil, and then plugging these back into it, so like this, so I don't forget what plugs into what, because I won't remember anything. So now for the side of the USBs, all I'm doing is taping the general area that uh, I want it to go to. Uh, whacking this on here and then uh, just drawing the circles out again. Uh, don't want it too high. I reckon about there and that look on my bowl and everything. So if it's not straight, it's not straight, but it's not like I'm selling these as for my own personal use. Um, right, so drill the holes in. And I did, uh, using this drill that makes the little um, pilot holes in there for the screws as well. Uh, again, that's from Timu, uh, another good item that I haven't had any issues with. So what I might do is I might put some rivets into this instead of screws, because I don't want anything really hanging too far deep inside that might catch me or wire. And in case I do upgrades later on, I want the max amount of space on the inside. So I'm gonna find my rivet thing now and. Sort this out. So I couldn't find my rivet gun, which is gonna drive me crazy. Cause I, I, I hate not knowing where my stuff is. So I gotta use uh, some nuts and bolts until I find that and then I'll just replace them. But this is why I don't like my videos. 
they're not like mini movies. They're like, okay, this is what we're doing. This is, you know, how I'm doing it kind of thing. And that's pretty much it. Because uh, I don't know, I'm not good at that stuff yet. Working on it, but I'm not good at it yet. So I'm going to put this on nut and bolts, clean up the hose a little bit. I did buy a Dremel. I might break that out in a minute if the, um, nothing lines up wrong or whatever. And I'll sort that out now. Right, so everything's fitting in well. And I, like I said before, I have the uh, units like this. And this is the one I struggled with. So if you do have a bad memory, just write them down. So I'm just going to write down, I got... Um, Blue, yellow, black. And then which one has to say? Okay, so uh, gold is blue. All right, so I know which order they're in now, and I can mess with them. And I'm also going to fix that one because the wires are showing on that one. But that's it. So now I know which order it is. So write it down. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so fix that one now. No wires showing. Much better. So, going back to connecting these. I would be pissed off if I if I did all this and I had to try to figure out which wire I was wrong. That, that would drive me crazy. But again, all learning experience. Like I said, I never done this before. I'm not claiming to be an expert or electrician or anything like that. You know, I saw it and I said, you know, that'd be a fun project. I want to try it, and that's what I'm doing. So, I finally finished it. I had to clean up the wires a little bit. Some kept falling out, which is driving me crazy. But let me just show you now what I made and that anybody can make if I can do it, okay? All right, so this is how it looks. You got two switches there, the lights on the bottom, and then you can see the 12 volt there. So what I did was that one there is the kill switch for everything. So if I put, see it's off here. And if I put it back on, there you go. Okay. And then, all, you know, all my uh, bits and bobs are on as well. Okay. But on this side here, I made this the button for the lights, the front. So, and that looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So um, the other bit is... Um, the other switch here, I need to put a little bit of glue, I went a little bit crazy on that side. Um, this one kills uh, this side, but you can still use the solar charger to charge the battery. So that's what I did. So that's like my um, thing. So yeah, let me show you inside. So you can see the solar power is still on. That's there. Uh, wires are as neat as possible. Um, this one is the to charge the solar battery uh, to use the solar panel. I'm just going to uh, tape it here to the side and hold it in place, and that should be fine. But I don't think it's much of a mess. I'll uh, try to zoom in and show you. Uh, I ran the cables a little bit long in some places, especially the back and forth ones, because I, you know, I don't want things being pulled up by accident. Uh, the fuse is still in there, but it came out all right. Uh, I have this part here, my hands being so big, it was a pain in the ass a little bit here and there, but um, I'll redo it as I go along. But yeah, so I'm just going to double side tape it, but that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm happy with that. Again, I tried, I didn't want to make holes in the top um, because a lot of people do that, but this design here, I wouldn't have had anything flush. Plus you get all the lines that are on the inside and I didn't want to hit any of those. So this is the most easiest way of doing it, I, I think. Okay. There we go. So let me know what you think. Uh, oh, yeah, wait, hold on. One second. So. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, USBs on here. So that's two USBs off that. And then just I just wanted to show that everything works. This one needs the button on. Nope, the other button. Hold on. Where is it? There. So, and then the USBs on here.
Right, so let's try that again. So, as you can see, this is on, and uh, that one? Uh, that's on this time. Now, I'm not sure if you just saw, I made a mistake, um, and also the lights work. I'm not sure if I made a mistake, and I'm going to show it, because I always try to show my mistakes, that's, that's how I learn. Um, when I turned this on before, I got the voltage on there, the voltage down there, but uh, these two here, when I was making the wires um, look neater and uh, cover up all the exposing wires, I forgot to uh, put the pluses together. So these two didn't have any power to them. But because I'm doing this project and I'm learning, I was able to see when I was jumping around the two I missed out on and which sides and everything. So I just spliced into another power there um, and then put a uh, split so them two have power and everything works now. So to me, that's pretty neat. It's compact. You know, it's not too many wires everywhere. It looks a bit long here, but I can always trim that later on when I add stuff. Um, and I probably will end up adding stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to bring this to work and then um, test out the solar panel bit on, on it and see if that works properly. But um, yeah, so this is a done project. Um, so the cover is still covered, so that as in if it rains, I'm not getting any water in there. These two bits have uh, covers. That's supposed to be a waterproof. That's, a, you know, good as it is. And then you have these sides. I have to be put a little bit of glue here, though, to keep that in. But other than that, you know, everything's good. So let me know anything in the comment section, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have some new projects. Also, I already showed you this adapter you could put into the end. And that one has USBs and plugs as well. But uh, yeah, that's a finished project. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.